Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a grammar school. There is a video on nail fungus on my channel. That day I only did a manicure and sent my model to a doctor for further nail plate treatment. I didn't do any coating on her. Time has passed, her nails have healed, so now I can do a transformation on them. And share it with you in today's video. Let's get right into it. So here are today's nails. Don't be shocked. Though they look a bit weird and concave, it's fine. Because that is just a hereditary chronic disease that my model got from her mother and grandmother. But her fungus test was negative. So now we can coat these nails. My model is a nail tech herself, so she transforms nails of others but sadly, can't do her nails, because it's hard to do it oneself and no coating lasts on her nails for more than three days. So I wonder if I can help her. And first, let's do a nail prep. Since the nail is concave in some areas and it's hard to reach them with a file, I'm going to use an e-file. And the drill bit I'm using is a red and blue doll one. This drill bit is neither too soft or hard. Somewhere between these two abrasives. I process it like this until it gets matte. I also lift up the cuticle and clean up the pterygium. There is not much cuticle here. So I just slightly lift it up without getting too deep. I will also clean up the cuticle with this drill bit. Well, these nails look different already. My model was following my recommendation using a Monarda oil on her cuticles on a daily basis, which in turn resulted in this positive change. She's been living with this nail dystrophy all her life. It's called tracheonychia. Such nails have got a concave spoon-like shape and almost no lunulus, so they have a split structure. But naturally, my model wants her nails to look beautiful. Besides, as a nail tech, she has to display her nails a lot. That's why I really want to help her. Now I degrease the nails and apply a primer for better bonding. I'm using an acid-free one to make sure it doesn't get too deep into the nail, drying and splitting it even more. I put some of this Cosmo Profi base coat on a palette to do a thin layer with another brush. To get between all the scales, to stick a coating well. We can fill in the dents with it. Though we shouldn't do a thick layer to avoid a nail plate burn. Because a thick layer will get too hot in a lamp. I'm filling in the dents with a high viscosity gel. It's clear, so it won't be noticeable, but the nails will be even. Using thick gels is super convenient. I will do an extension with dual forms, using a shimmery aqua gel and a top coat to get a natural polished look. So I need to fit the forms. The widest part is in the ingrowth points. If we leave gaps there, the nails will easily break. Sculpting short, beaten nails is not a piece of cake. His nail folds push out the material, thinning down the layer. I'm using some Acrygel liquid to spread the Acrygel. Now I set up the form, secure it in the cuticle zone with a portable lamp Press it, turn the finger over and align it on the inside. After curing, I slightly pinch the free edge to make sure the form gets easily removed. And now we can see that the sides are sheer. Well, that's how this Acrygel works applied in a thin layer. But I will need to fill them in to avoid cracks.
Once I'm done with sculpting, I grab a thin carbide drill bit and file out all the access in the cuticle zone. I'm being careful, because my model's nail plate is thin, so I can easily overfile it if I press too hard on it. Now I separate the material on the sides and proceed with filing. I will form a sharp oval shape, closer to an almond. The thing with dual forms is that they form a good architecture on long nails, but short ones get slightly lifted. To fix it, we need to file the top of them. Then there will be a smooth lift and a descent. I make smoothing moves in one direction. So, nail sculpting with dual forms itself is pretty quick, but sometimes we need to touch it up or file it out on the inside, so the process may take as long as sculpting with paper forms. Actually, I might have used them here today, but not a beginner nail tech. And the point of this video is to show you how to transform any nails, so you know what you can and can't do so I hope you find it helpful. Now we patch up all the holes with the Acrygel. Sand the nails to cure and then file them again, to avoid cracks. Now I wipe off the dust and do a layer of a top coat. I think this Acrygel looks amazing on its own. Such a soft and delicate shiny look. That was no min feet, but we did it. Enjoyed the transformation? Then give this video a big thumbs up and check out my other nail transformation videos. I wish you all healthy nails and success in your work. Bye bye!